Welcome back to Let's Play Lisa. I'm the voice of Dog. Okay, let's play Lisa. So, last time I decided to switch out Beastborn for Rage, uh, mainly because Rage is a very glass cannony character, and he actually kind of gets the cannon part wrong too, because his damage really doesn't justify uh, how squishy he is. Uh, Beastborn is weaker than him, but at least he can take a few hits. Of course, that also depends on who we're fighting, but in general, he can absorb some damage. He also has some decent status abilities that kind of make up for his lack of power. And if you level him up a bit, he gets a rapid whip attack, kind of like uh, Olin's multi-hit attacks. So if you put a bit of work into him, he's pretty good. <laughs> Joke's on you. Look at that. Yeah. So in this area, we have Barrel Bros as encounters. They just kind of roll around a lot, and if you run into them, you fight them, and they're not very hard. I'm sorry, what? Hi. That gym sounds like an asshole. Okay. Thanks for the for the tissue. Try not to lose your retinas, although they're probably on their way out. Huh. Weird you'd see a door in a cave. Well, let's uh let's check it out. Hey, wake up! Ah, there we go. You know, that's not actually how the song goes, but I just don't have the heart to tell him.
Ah, sure, we'll give him water. That's a pretty good reward. For something we got for free. Here we have a shop, but they don't really have much, but we'll definitely take a rain poncho. Now, here's a secret we definitely want to find. In fact, it's probably the main reason you'd come to this place. Free fire bombs. We've got quite a few of them now. It's actually hard to use up that many of them. Though, the regular fire bombs definitely decrease in strength as the game goes on. A wet stick. That seems like a very useful thing. I'm glad we picked it up. Let's see the description. A damp limp stick. Fantastic. Well, now that we've got that very important item, let's, uh, let's head out of here. Uh, there's a bit of a problem with walking into this village, though. Uh, there's only one way out, first off. Uh, and in order to get out, we're going to have to handle this encounter. Oh, I don't think so. Alright, so... People who have played this game probably know... This is, in my opinion, one of the hardest encounters in the game. However, I did not know about the diesel firebombs uh, in any previous run, or in any run that I've seen anyone else play. Uh, and those make this battle very easy. But normally, here's how it goes. Uh, you get stun-locked, or, or several characters get stun-locked by the four guys on the sides. Uh, while the Crack Ripper just continually does damage. That's, that's dude in the middle. Yep, you try to get a few attacks out, but the only all-party attack you have is firebombs at this point. So you want to throw as many regular firebombs as you can. Uh, it still takes at least, like, three to knock any of them out, which can take a while because you will try to throw three in the first round and then get stun locked and then more bad shit will happen. Usually some of your characters will get knocked out. But uh, Diesel Firebomb, just one of those, pretty much stopped all that from happening. And still a couple of dudes got paralyzed, so it could have gone way worse. That was the best fight against these guys that I've seen. Good job, me. Also, I noticed that Beastborn has the stench accessory on, which I think makes enemies avoid you because you smell bad. Uh, which we don't want him to have. We want him to take hits. We want him and Brad to take hits, and we want Nern and Olin to take less hits. Unless I've got it completely backwards, and for some reason, smelling bad makes people want to kill you more. That's probably not... that's... that's probably not it, but... Alright, well, now that we finished that and got a nice little payday from it, uh, we should go check out that armor guy again. Alright, we'll take a quick rest, and then head back to Barrel Country. Uh, these guys are very weak, and not worth a lot of experience, and maybe only one magazine per fight. So they're barely worth your time.
But if you navigate these little mazes, you'll find some good stuff. And we definitely need as much fancy perfume as we can get. Revive items, as you've gathered, are pretty rare in this game, and there are no revive abilities in general. Also, ow. Now this is a pretty good secret to find, mostly because there's more perfume, and there's Mad Dog Spiked Club. So, we're gonna go back to Nipple Patch Guy now. Sure you can! All right. I mean, you could have asked us to join, but whatever, this works too. So Mad Dog's a pretty good character, actually. Uh, his stats look decent right now, but honestly, I think he's pretty good at taking a hit. He's he's kind of like Beastborn. Uh, he's also a TP character. He has a fire element attack and an attack that causes bleeding to start with, and in general, he just deals pretty good damage. I think he's actually better than Beastborn from my experience. I could be wrong. Wait, that guy's green. What's his deal? Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I feel ya. Okay, learn, learn, discuss health, which is a single target heal, which is pretty useful. Uh, you can't use it outside of battle, though, so that kind of sucks. That's another ability that's fairly rare. Uh, I think only two characters in the game have a full party heal, and there's a few more that have single target heals. Um... Yeah. Yeah, thanks. People are fucking jerks. Who could do that? Whoa! This guy isn't much of a problem, and we have a bunch of attacks that he's already weak to, so... yep. Alright, th this is more lines than a regular enemy should be allowed to have post-battle. Yeah, are you done? Thank you. Hey, that house belongs to uh, Whitley to Diddley, the composer of the game. Sir! Sir! Mr. Whitley! Oh, jeez. I don't think he's gonna stop anytime soon. Although, we do have something to settle here. Good. Good. That's what you get. Uh, sure. This looks like a fun little thing. You know, I think I see a loophole in your rules. Alright, ready, here I go, and... Done! Oh. It's your fault for not putting a fucking barrel there, dude. It wasn't in the rules. Alright, let's try this again. That actually, uh, I cut out a couple of attempts because I kept fucking up. Obviously, the more you rush, the harder it is to... The, the, the easier it is to screw up and 
If you get hit once, you're done. Honestly, the rewards for this aren't great, but if you get under 30 seconds, you get a thing. Cool. I'm not even sure what kind of jerky I got, if it was like 300 HP or 1000 or all of it. That all sounded really bad. We need to get to Buddy really quick. Steel Blackman here really isn't much of an opponent, but I like his name anyway. And I like that his first thing to do is to punch himself in the face a bunch. Just to psych himself up for the fight. Uh, we're not in desperate need of campfires, so I think I'm gonna skip this one. Ah, uh, this must be the place. Crowd of people trying to force themselves into a locked building. Yep, this is it. Ugh. <sighs> well, this all looks pretty dire. Well, you guys don't have a sweet bike, so you can't get in. Actually, it'll benefit us to take a quick look over in this direction. You know, just to be thorough and all. There's a lot of barrel dudes on this mountain. And they're all really fast. Which can only mean one thing. Treasure. Also, there is a fun glitch that I found. You apparently will not get into a fight if you are in the middle of a jump. I never actually did that before. And there I go, forgetting the combo, as I am wont to do. Aha! The treasure! Yes! Now what? A gold hen. Alright. Now let's take care of this.
You too, huh, man? And you. Starting to think this is more of a drug den. Yeah, yeah. Well, some of these will be useful. It's always good to have some uh, cola items. They all restore SP. I'm actually glad you can't open up that door, because then we'd have a flood of people to deal with. Well, I'm using all my healing items, so you probably have figured out what that means. It's boss fight time. Also, that guy is just sniffing a butt. These guys do have some nice hair. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to shut down your club. Wait, that's the part that offends you? Oh, fuck off. Okay, so, um, this is pretty much the boss of the first area of the game, and it's pretty tough. There's only two targets. We have the hair and the dudes. The hair is, as you might expect, weak to fire, but the hair is extremely powerful. Case in point, Eastbourne one-shotted. Awesome, good start. Uh, usually I win this battle by using stuff like Tackle or uh, Surprise Attack to stun the hair, or Ghost Story to scare it, anything that keeps the hair from attacking. But I kind of didn't try for that this run. Maybe I was slightly overconfident? Oh. Or I may have just assumed I could damage rush the boss without getting knocked out too many times. Uh, but I was wrong, and there goes Brett. So yeah, this is a pretty tricky fight, uh, if you don't lock down the hair. Let this be a lesson to you. The three guys function as one enemy, but they're really not all that dangerous. They do do a little bit of damage. Ugh, this is getting really bad. Well, this is a big fight, so I definitely want the experience to go to everyone. I should have just started with, uh, with firebombs, honestly. That would have been a smarter idea. Okay, the hair is down now. This will get a bit easier. Alright, everyone's alive. Deer Toss is a pretty funny ability, and it does some pretty good damage. Yeah, you might have guessed that the hair is pretty much the source of this club's strength. I don't think they have any secret attacks they use after the hair is gone. You just kind of do the same thing until you kill them.
Nern's abilities kind of make this battle possible. They just keep you going long enough to do all the damage you need to do. Actually, that was way less experience than I expected. But we learned Head Slide, which is a pretty good attack that hits everyone. <sighs> Alright. Buddy, we're here to save you. What? Who in the fuck are you? I'm sorry? <sighs> you know, Farty, I hate to say it this way, but I'm glad it was you. means we're on the completely wrong track and Buddy is somewhere else. Well, we've taken kind of a beating, so the rest would probably be a good idea. Hmm, how much? Uh, so what, that's like 20? That's not terrible. Oh, on our way back, we can check on Mr. Woodley. Oh, 